guys, my name is Julia from Kapwing, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make five different types of slideshows using an online video editor called Kapwing. Type of slideshow number one is just a basic slideshow with photos and music. So you're going to start out just on google.com, so just come to Google, and then search for Kapwing, which is the tool that we're going to use for all the slideshows in this video. So it's spelled K-A-P-W-I-N-G and just go to the first result, which is right here. Okay, so here I am on Kapwing. I'm actually signed in to Kapwing because I've used it before, but if you've never signed in or you've never used Kapwing before, it's totally fine. Just click Get Started on the homepage, and then you can jump right into editing your first video. So I'm gonna do that just by clicking New Project and starting with the Studio, which will take us all to the same tool. Okay, so here is the sp space where I'm gonna try and make my slideshow. So. In order to make a photo slideshow, you want to start with this Scenes button right here in the main toolbar. So instead of just uploading one thing, like a video that you want to crop or trim or whatever, I'm going to go ahead and click that Scenes. Now notice I still have nothing uploaded, but this is my Scenes view. This will let me upload multiple things at once and get going right away. So I have actually prepared my, uh, photos, my photo slideshow right here. This is, my photo slideshow is only going to be six photos long, but you can use as many photos as you want to. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and dra uh, drag and drop all my files into the scenes view, and then they will upload one by one. Um, so also notice here that um, uh, my photos are not all, well, they're almost all square, but they're not all the same aspect ratio. So this last one, for example, has a different aspect ratio. Um, so if I want to, I can choose either to fit with a border like it is now, or I can zoom and crop so that they all kind of like get into this square aspect ratio. I can also change aspect ratio if I want to make like a story, for example. I can just fit all my photos onto a story size um, with a border. So, okay, so I can also change the background color, like if I want to make it yellow or something like that behind all the, uh, behind all the images, then I can. So I'm just going to go and watch this uh, photo slideshow through to see what it looks like. Uh, let's see here. Let me move my face over so you can actually see the preview. Okay, so now it's playing. Uh, okay, so I can see it's like a little slow and I want to make my photo slideshow faster. So what I'm going to do, the reason it's slow is because every photo lasts for three seconds, but I actually want to make it faster than that. I'm going to make each one last just for a second and a half and then I'm going to apply to all images. Now let's see what it looks like. Okay. Sweet. Okay, this is so much, so nostalgic because now I can just share with my team like all these good times of us being together pre-quarantine. Um, so, and I actually want to just, uh, now I want to add music. So I'm going to go to edit in studio, which is the space where I can add that music in. You can see all my scenes here on the left. And I'm going to click this audio tab in the main toolbar to add the music. So I'm going to click audio. Now you can upload your audio, you can record it, but I'm going to actually import audio directly from YouTube. So I want to use the song Sunday Best from YouTube here. Let's see if this is it. Yeah. This is a new great song. I'm just going to import it into my photo slideshow. So I'm just going to copy the YouTube URL, go back to Kapwing, paste it right there into this paste in audio or video URL, and then Kapwing will fetch all my content. So yeah, super easy. All this is free. You don't even have to sign in. Um, and let's just uh, see what the preview, or listen to the preview. And there is my photo slideshow. Um, okay, so the last thing I'm going to do before I just create this into a, a video is, uh, first of all, I'm going to change the name here. Uh, let's see, uh, Team Kapwing Photo Slideshow. Great, okay, so then I'm going to um, add a new scene, like a blank scene up here. Um, in order to do that, there's a lot of different ways I can do it. Like, I think I can click, yeah, add scene down here. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, so I just added a scene to the bottom. I'm just going to drag it to be the first scene. And then I'm just going to make a title scene here. So I'm just going to put in some text. And I'm going to choose my favorite text. I really like this satisfy text that's in here. Let me find it. Oh, uh, is it in here? Where is that satisfy text? Oh, there it was. Yeah, okay, great. And I'm just going to say, um, like, uh, team, like, good times with Team Kipwing. Just to make a nostalgic title here. And I'm just going to make it bigger and put it right in the middle. And there is my photo slideshow with a uh, see first scene that is um, a text scene. So uh, just to change, I just want to change this very first scene just to be one second. Um, to do that, I can go back into the scenes mode. You can see I've added the scene here. And just click edit duration for this again. Change it to one and a half seconds like the others and click apply. Okay, great. So now let's watch it all the way through one more time. 
looks great. And I'm just going to go ahead and click publish. Okay, so here was slideshow number one. This was a photo slideshow with music. Um, it was pretty basic, but I could upload as many photos as I want and just combine them all together with um, custom timing. So that is how you make a photo, photo slideshow with music using Kapwing. Okay, and there is photo slideshow number one. Okay, so next slideshow that I'm going to show you how to make is a YouTube compilation. So how to combine clips from your, from your favorite YouTube videos um, to show like a series or like a best list or something like that. Um, so again, I'm going to start on Google. I'm just going to search for Kapwing. This time I'm going to look for the video maker. Um, so I'm just going to type in video maker. It actually takes you to the same place, but it's just like a quick, like a shortcut to getting to the scenes view of studio. So I'm here on the video maker landing page for Kapwing, and I'm just going to go ahead and click this big purple get started button. Okay, so here I am. You'll recognize this face. It's the scenes view, but this time instead of dragging files in to upload them, I'm going to import them directly from YouTube. So I am going to make a compilation of moments when the Tiger King says the name Carol Baskin, which is the name of his arch nemesis. Um, Tiger King is like an all the rage show on Netflix right now, and um, he oft he's like this hilarious guy, and he says this name Carol Baskin all the time. So I'm just going to import just clips of him saying the name Carol Baskin. So I have the YouTube videos already here, but you can just search for the ones you want to find on um, on uh, YouTube. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy the YouTube URL. So just Control C here, and then paste it into this box right here, which will import that video as a scene into Kapwing. So you can see here is the uh, whole video. Look at this video is. Um, two minutes and 16 seconds long, so you can see that's reflected here. And I'm just going to trim it down to the time when he says Carol Baskin. This is actually the trailer for Tiger King. Tiger King. Okay, so I've actually already highlighted the moment here. It's like right at 48, 48 seconds. So I'm just going to move the slider to that part, any part of the highlight that I want to include in my video. Okay, great. Now I have that name from that first video. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for my next two videos. So I'm just going to copy the YouTube URL, paste it in here. I'll get my third one. Copy this YouTube URL, paste it in right here. So there are my three clips of, of uh, Joe Exotic, who's the star of Tiger King, saying Carol Baskin. So now I have imported them all. I've trimmed them down to the right section. I'm just going to go ahead and play the video preview of what they'll all sound like when they're put together. I'm just going to start with the first one. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. Okay, love it. Okay, so my video just has three scenes. You can put as many scenes in as you want to. Um, and I want my output to be 16 by 9 because I'm probably going to post this on YouTube. It's a compilation. I'm just going to name it here, YouTube compilation example, and go ahead and click publish. Okay, so there is my second uh, uh, video or se second video slideshow that I'm showing you how to make using Kapwing is a YouTube compilation. I just copied all the YouTube URLs, pasted them in here, and that is how I got this video, which you are going to see in one second. And there it is. Here is my YouTube compilation example. Okay, so let's watch it all the way through. Um, okay, so there is my YouTube compilation. That was example number two of how to make a slideshow using Kapwing. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make slideshow type number three, which is a text slideshow. So this is perfect for like quotes or like if you want to tell a story. I'm going to go ahead and start with the studio again and then start with a blank canvas this time because I don't want to upload an image necessarily. Um, so the image defaults to square, and I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm going to make for this example a uh, text slideshow about washing your hands and how to wash your hands properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and search using this images box for um, like a hand washing image, um, maybe like a photo that I can use for the background. Um, let's see here. Okay, this is an awesome photo. Okay, so I'm going to use this photo for my background. And uh, maybe I'll add, I want the text to like really stand out. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this image to just like uh, make it a little bit darker kind of so that I can make the text light, like I can make the text white, for example. Um, and I'm going to add like a tiny bit of blur so that it just becomes like a little bit, um, a little bit more like in the background. Okay, great. So there is my um, image. Okay, so to make a slideshow in this case with text, um, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this same scene several different times. And so now I have five different scenes. All of them are three seconds long. Um, and all of them use the same image, the same background. So it'll kind of transition seamlessly. Now I'm going to add the text to my scenes. Um, so the text will default to my the last used font family that I used, which was Satisfy. So um, maybe for this one, I'll change it from Satisfy, which is kind of like a playful font to something like a little bit more serious, like Georgia. 
Um, and I'm going to call this um, hand washing tips. Um, notice I can do whatever I want with this text. I can make it bold. I can make it bigger. Um, I can get rid of this uh, text outline if I want to. I can change the color. And there is my first piece of text. Okay, great. And I'm just going to copy this text layer, control C, and then go to the second scene and just paste it here. So I can just use exactly the same formatting. Um, okay, great. So on the second one, I'm going to say um, one um, wash for 20 seconds. Um, and then I'm going to also put like sort of a subtitle in here. I'm going to change the orientation since it's on that side. Um, I'm going to say um, a little smaller, turn off the bold, and also tilt it so that uh, it has like a little bit of a different. Thing. And maybe I'll make it on this scene so that it appears a little bit later. Um, okay, so now I'm going to keep going here. What are my other hand washing tips? Um, let's see, um, use warm water um, because warm water kills more bacteria. Um, great. Oh, this is number two. Uh, okay, number three, I'm going to, uh, let's see, say I uh, wash scrub, maybe, scrub the backs, scrub your thumbs and backs of hands, because people forget to do that, they only wash the front. And my last piece in my text slideshow, uh, let's see, hand washing, hand washing tip slideshow. And the last piece of advice in my slideshow is going to be, let's see here, um, uh, dry your hands thoroughly after washing because the bacteria can live on your hands longer than, um, longer if you don't wash the water off. Okay, great. So now I have my text slideshow. Let's just wash it all the way through. Great. And I'm going to publish. Okay, there is my text slideshow that I made using Kapwing. So you can see the font or the text came out exactly the way that I styled it. Um, and yeah, now I can download this as an MP4 and share it with uh, friends and share it with other people on social media to help them wash their hands um, and even have even better hygiene uh, during this time of where health is so important. For the fourth slideshow type, I'm going to show you how to make a one second a day video slideshow. Um, and I'm not really going to make it just one second, but it's going to be quarantine themed. Um, so I'm going to start again with the video maker. So I'm just going to come to this tools section, look for video maker on Kapwing. Okay, then I'm going to click get started. Okay, so I have these four quarantine videos for my quarantine one second a day slideshow. So I'm just going to drag, or um, yeah, I'm just going to drag them into Kapwing again. And there are all my videos uploading. So you can see this is what my roommates and I have been doing in quarantine. One second these slide shows are great for like sharing with your family or something like that so they can see what you're up to. Okay, I'm going to make it this size, this five by four size. Um, and you'll see like they're all different, all the different video clips are different aspect ratios. And I want to make them look like normal. So I'm going to go ahead and fit them with a border, which will just mean that they each fit like inside of their respective aspect ratios without cropping anything out. Um, then I want to clip each one, not to be one second, but to be three seconds, just to like make it more, a little bit more regular. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to clip each one to be three seconds. So I click that trim button and going to stick it back to three seconds. You can see the end time moving towards three. There's one. Um, okay, so the one extra thing I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to add text to these slides so that it can kind of label it with what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, edit in studio and just add like some fun labels on here. So. Um, here I'm going to put the text in. I'm going to change it to something fun again, kind of fun, like permanent marker. And let's see, working. That's one thing we do. This, I'm going to change the size to be of a font size 100. Copy. Um, font, font size 100. Yuka. Lele. Actually, this is not baking. This is cooking. Okay, here's the fourth one of my uh, labels, which is Hacky Sack, which I think is spelled like that. Great. Okay, so now I have my uh, text labels. I'm just going to name the project um, Quarantine 1SE, one second every day. 
Um, and maybe I'll add one extra scene, which is the title scene. So I'm just going to add that to the top, make it short, kind of. Um, use the same style of the font. Um, what do what do you do in quarantine? That is something that my grandmother is asking me nowadays. And just to make it a little bit more fun even, I'm going to um, make this font animated so that it kind of, uh, so that it starts moving and it adds some pizzazz to the title slide. So I just clicked this, you can see I clicked on the text here and I clicked on this bu animate button in the corner or on the side. Okay, and I'm gonna use the hue rotate animation, which is my favorite. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit to make it rotate even slower and click done. And now here is my slideshow. So I'm just going to go ahead and click publish right here. Great. And now my slideshow my, with all my videos of what do I do in quarantine, my one second every day, actually three seconds, um, is going to process. Okay. So here is my slideshow. What do I do in quarantine? Hacky sack, what? cooking, <laughs> ukulele, <laughs> and working. So there is my video. I can go ahead and download this or I can just share it directly by copying the link and sending it to my friends. The fifth and last slideshow I'm going to show you is how to make a GIF slideshow. So starting here on Kapwing again, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with a new project and start here in the studio. What's awesome about Kapwing is you can use images, GIFs, or videos in your slideshows and it supports all of them. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and support some GIFs to make a GIF slideshow here in Kapwing. So once again, I'm just going to head to the scenes view here in the upper, in the upper toolbar and drag and drop my scenes in. Now I have four GIFs here already lined up. I'm going to make a GIF slideshow of GIFs of Dwight from The Office because I think Dwight is hilarious and I just think he would make an awesome slideshow. So here's all of the Dwight characters. See how I press play here in the toolbar after they all uploaded and I can see them all uh, here in sequence. I'm going to make this one uh, five by four to make it sort of like somewhat landscape oriented. And I'm just going to make sure that they all fit with a border. Uh, actually, maybe I'll zoom in crop for this one to make them all zoom in on his face because Dwight is hilarious. Um, I can also uh, copy and paste links from, from Giphy. So I have this, uh, uh, this GIF here I like. I'm just going to copy this URL and paste it here to import a fifth scene into my slideshow. Great. So you can see just after that imports, it's right here. And there are all of my um, uh, GIFs with uh, GIFs in a slideshow. You can see they last like three seconds. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter, like maybe a second and a half. Apply that to all of my GIFs. And I'm just going to go ahead and click publish to make them all uh, into a single cohesive video. Great. And there it is. There is my GIF slideshow in one cohesive video. So now I can just download my awesome slideshow, my Dwight slideshow, or I can just share it directly on social media, or I can get a short URL and send this like over iMessage or whatever else so that everyone else can enjoy the magic of Dwight Schrute. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, if you want to go ahead and get started making your own slideshow, click on the links in the description below. We included all the links from the video down in the description so you can jump right in. Also, if you liked this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Um, we teach people all about uh, how to make cool social media, video, image, GIF formats. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think. And yeah, bye.